Hi, my name is Eric Worrell, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a review of PDF Expert. So this tool right here is specifically for Mac users, allows you to edit PDFs. Uh, it's a very slick tool. It works on desktop, iPhone, iPad. Uh, you can see that there's a free download option, but in this video, I'm going to be showing you what the paid option looks like. You don't need to get into all the reviews and even the price, as you can see, as I'm making this, because that's important, $79.99. I will have a link to, if you're looking to purchase this in the description below, I'll have a link for the free trial sign up as well. Uh, if I can secure any kind of promotion for you, I will definitely include that in the links below. So what I've got here is a PDF of the 2019 Buffalo Bill schedule that was just released recently. So something you should know about me uh, being a Bills fan and 33 years old is that I am an adult man child and that I'm also a masochist who likes pain. So I'm going to have a little bit of fun with this schedule. I'm going to change it and show you how this tool works as we edit the schedule using the different features available to you with PDF Expert. The first thing I'm going to highlight for you here is there's the ability to annotate at the top here and the ability to edit. So the edit tool is probably what you're going to use more times than not. But what I use a lot in the annotate tool, I'm going to show you this first and kind of jump ahead, is the My Signature tool. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put my signature right here on the score. And I've already added a signature in here. And I'm just going to click and I'm going to drag it. And there you can see I have my signature on here. You can imagine all the applications of this because how many times have you gotten something you have to sign and you're like, ah, I don't want to do that. So this allows you to actually create a signature that looks like your signature. So the next thing I want to go to is the edit section of this tool. So here you can add text, you can add images, links, or you can redact. Redact just means like, you know, uh, in this particular case, New England hurts me to say it. I know they're going to beat us. So I'm just going to go like that and we're going to redact them from this schedule. So pretty simple tool. So with the uh, text here, this is where you could easily add a score um, on this particular one. Uh, I'm going to go down to the uh, Cincinnati game, right? I'm going to go like this. And I'm just going to say that the Bills won 36 to 2. We gave up a safety, right? So it's just like a typical Word document. I mean, you can change alignments. You can bold it. You can italicize it. Uh, let me see here. I'm going to italicize, bold. And why don't we do that? Kind of looks more like a score. And then we can pick the specific color that we want. So since we won, why don't we put that into a green color just like that? All right, cool. So now let's take a look and see if we can get a little creative on the uh, New York Jets uh, at New York Jets game right here. So with some documents, you'll be able to directly edit the text just by clicking the text tool. But in this particular case, this document reads more like an image. So what I'm gonna do is try and recreate this right here, throw some shade at Jets fans, and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that. So what I'm gonna do here is um, I'm gonna create a box that goes right over the New York Jets, and we're gonna see if we can fill it. Uh, you can see there's already a fill color, there's no stroke color here, and that's exactly what I'm looking for. So when I go like this, it is now gone because we've just added a white box that matches the background. So now what we can do is we can fill that box in with our own text. So this is where you can kind of get creative and have fun with things. Uh, I'm going to write at New Jersey Jets. It's kind of a running joke for Bills fans because Buffalo Bills are the only team actually in the state of New York. Uh, the Jets and the Giants are actually in New Jersey. Um, so why don't we see if we can play with this. We can bring the size down. Uh, let's see. So I found this Adobe Hebrew. Kind of looks pretty close. But one of the things you'll notice is it still looks just a little bit small. So what I'm going to do is make this 17. See how that looks. All right, that looks better. But then you can take the text color and you can click on the text wheel right here. And what you can do is this is it at black. And then what we're going to do is highlight all the text. And then let's see if we can get it to just come down a little bit. What you can do is there's this color picker tool. Uh, if you we uh, zoom in on the color picker icon right there. So I'm going to actually take a pixel right from the text below. So now you can see that this is starting to look and feel uh, more like the other items. So here is another tool that we can use. It's called the linking tool here. Again, it pops open on the right hand side. It says select an area or text on page for link to be inserted. So we're going to look at the Miami link right here. So we've got the area selected here. We're going to make this go to the web and I'm going to drop in a link to a funny YouTube video. And then what I'm going to do is open this up over here. So 
Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. We got a little link in there to a Miami Dolphins scene. You can't actually see the link right now in here, uh, but if we go back to link, you can see that it is embedded here. So if somebody clicks on Miami, they will be taken to that YouTube video. The page tool is nice too, because you can have um, a table of contents that you can create with this so that if you have that table of contents, you can have it go, all right, this is gonna go to page seven, this is gonna go to page 46. So that's a handy tool if you have a pretty large PDF document. So another tool I want to show you here is the uh, call out tool. You can click on the document to create a new note. So now we make a note next to the bye week and we're going to say is thank God. All right, perfect. So now if uh, when this is exported and I'll show you what the final export looks like, you'll see that come up. Thank God next to the bye week for the bills in week six. So uh, why don't we take a look at the stamp tool. This one's kind of fun. There's all these stamps here. You can create your own too. Sign here is a pretty popular one. You can select it. And then let's say, you know, you want uh, that to go right there. And then you can adjust the size. You can do whatever you want with it. Um, and uh, why don't we actually see if we can reverse it? Nope, you can't miss the Elliot. You can't flip it and reverse it. Uh, but uh, let's see uh, if you want to do little check marks instead of the score here, boom. Uh, this is a pretty fun one and then it says you can rotate it using the tools up here all right so the stamp tool is really nice because it can give you a polish to your uh, pdf that you might not be able to do if you're trying to edit with text and you know using your own methods so i'm going to go back to the shape tool because you can use these shapes for a lot of different reasons um, here you can see i got the line tool set up i'm going to get a width here i'm going to make it red and uh, typically what happens as a bills fan each year and i'm going to hold down the shift key is uh, you uh, you get to about this point of the season, it's the demarcation point, you know, where you go into December. Um, that is where it doesn't matter anymore. And this point in the season is where you start thinking about draft picks next year and trying to get higher in the draft order because we are out of the playoffs come December. So I'm gonna just kind of make that a note right there. Uh, again, uh, you know, if somebody's reading this document and they want an explanation of what that is, I can say this, and we call this the uh, playoff demarcation point. So fans cheer for losses. All right, perfect. So at this point you get how the tool works. Um, we're gonna go to file, we're gonna click save as, and we're just gonna save it as a copy onto my desktop. And then take a look at the uh, copy here, copy PDF. And I'm gonna open it instead of with PDF editor, I'm gonna open it with uh, the typical preview tool that is used by Mac users. All right, so here is the edited PDF. So, oh, you got to buy that week? Thank God. This is the uh, playoff demarcation point. Fans cheer for losses. You can see that we got that check mark here. Uh, for the most part, it looks pretty similar. You can see that this kind of has a little bit more of an edge to it. The signature came out fine. You can see this is redacted. Um, Miami, uh, let's see. Yep, we're going to click this. And it popped it open on a different screen. I'm pulling it over. So what we found is the Miami link wasn't super obvious. Uh, you know, it's obvious when you're on here and you're, you know, you do link and you can see that it's highlighted in week seven here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna annotate this and I'm gonna make it a little bit more obvious. So we have the rectangle tool again. Uh, I'm gonna have a fill color. I'm gonna make the fill color uh, like a really light blue. And we'll go with the darker blue to start, but then we'll play with the, uh, the opacity of it. Okay, so we're gonna go like that. And then what I'm gonna do is just take the opacity down and then you can have something like that. So there you can see that's edited. Uh, you can get a little bit more fine tune with that and make that look better as well. But uh, the last thing I'm gonna do here is we're gonna add an image here, because we didn't do that. Uh, let's see, I'm going to um, go to the image tool, select an area on the page for a new image to be inserted. So I'm gonna go right here. See how this works. This might get a little bit interesting, but we got a Bill Suck mug that somebody put online here. Okay, I want that to replace this. And there you have it. So uh, you can see it's kind of a fun tool to play with uh, and the, give you the ability to edit a PDF and be able to uh, do whatever you need for it. I'm sure you're not going to be using it for these type of reasons, hopefully, because, you know, the bills are going to the Super Bowl this year. Yeah. So... <laughs> If you guys found this video helpful, uh, again, check out the links in the description below. Uh, I will do my best to see if I can secure any kind of discount if you are planning on purchasing, but I recommend just going with the free version first, check it out, see if you like it, uh, and then you can always go from there. And uh, yeah, thank you for leaving any kind of thumbs up or comments, subscribing to the channel. Uh, I appreciate your guys' support, 
And uh, good luck with your PDF that you're editing. And again, it's a time saver if it's something you're doing all the time, uh, especially even if you're doing it a few times a week and you're having to go and toggle between different options, just get the software. It's going to free up time in your life. That's the biggest reason that I recommend this service. All right, guys, thanks. Take care and have a great rest of your week.